Robo's World, The Zarnok Fortress is a 2D action platformer which was released on Steam in March 2016. I was the game designer and lead programmer. The game features a mix of fighting off the evil Zarnok robots and platforming challenges and puzzles which make use of the various abilities of the protagonist, Robo. As Robo, you can move, jump, dash, crouch, punch, fire laser, and throw grenades. What makes these abilities special is the player's ability to combine them to perform special maneuvers. A dashing jump will allow the player to go much further than a regular jump. Crouching down, then jumping, will allow you to jump much higher. Advanced techniques like these and others are available right from the start of the game. This allows players who are familiar with the game to dive right into its most difficult challenges. But for new players who might have difficulty pulling off these maneuvers, they are not mandatory to complete the game. While Robo does have a fair share of attacks, they are equally used in their puzzle-solving capacity. For instance, you can use your laser to power conduits that create temporary bridges of energy. You can also punch through certain obstacles. Even grenades can be used to solve certain puzzles. Right at the beginning of the game, Zarnok Fortress establishes that there are no instant death pits, and that every blind fall will never feature any hazards which the player could not have anticipated. Establishing this trust, players can freely explore the game world without having to worry if their curiosity will make them lose the game. There are over 50 levels in Zarnok Fortress, each of which are interconnected to form a sprawling and maze-like world. The interconnected nature of these levels inspired me to design every level so it could be played forwards as well as backwards. By exploring and making use of Robo's abilities, players can discover faster paths through the game. Again, these faster paths are not necessary to complete the game, but they offer veteran players a unique challenge in beating the game as quickly as possible. Every challenge in Zarnok Fortress has been meticulously designed so that it can be completed without the player taking a single hit even though, on the easiest difficulty, you can take up to 8 hits before you must restart the current level, and it is also possible to find recovery items to increase this number. In total, there are 5 difficulty settings the player can choose between. This allows players to pick the level of difficulty they feel best playing, increasing the appeal to new players while having greater challenges in store for veterans of the action platforming genre. When playing on the easier difficulty settings, there are no hazards which will defeat Robo in a single hit. Players may also choose whether or not they wish to display hints while the game is playing. Hints are helpful for new players, but players who are familiar with this game may no longer need them. Zarnok Fortress features several other useful accessibility options. Players who find camera shake effects to be nauseating can turn it off. Players who may have trouble distinguishing important details can turn off the lighting system. This also helps the game to run on older computers or less powerful ones. Last but not least, players can completely configure the controls in the game. This allows players to adjust the controls to whatever they find the most comfortable, whether they are playing with a keyboard or a controller. The game also features four profiles which you can switch between in the event that two different players are playing on the same computer and wish to take turns without having to re-enter their controller configurations.